Welcome back to Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danish Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as the Glorious Republic of Carthage. So in the last episode we finally managed to complete our Punic Ascendance achievement which means with Carthage we own all of Hispania as you can see which is entirely true which is fantastic and now we're focusing on Cenomania because I do want to link up, uh, try and link up what we have in Hispania with Italy by the coast here. So quickly within the last probably 25 or 30 odd years that we have probably try and take all the land on the coast here to link up it would be pretty cool if we could do that so uh, we did declare the war on Cenomania so let's get started I'm going to reduce the speed quickly and uh, now we're going to just kind of full like kind of full, like kind of fill through over onto his lands here just because we can and uh, just because we're going to do so so you're going to move there and you're going to move there let's occupy everything we have our fleets ready so let's go we have more than enough I think I maybe even try to hire some mercs I'm very tempted to. Let's just hire these mercs just because I don't want Tenomania hiring them. Because they could hire them and they could pee me off with them, so I don't want that to happen. We make way more than enough money. 325 gold per month. So if we can have them, it's better than like giving it to Tenomania. Definitely. And there's some nice cities over here we can take as well. Like Pisa would be quite nice to take under our control. Anyway, let's just occupy everything. We are going to be slaving a lot of people. Wow. Let's talk about, talk about sla enslaving people. It's just crazy. Uh, you're going to move over here. Um, actually, no, you're going to go on the boat, actually. We'll get you through the boat way. That's better. Um, you're going to go maybe... No, not there. You're actually going to move all the way up here. You're going to follow to Beirut. You're going to go over to here. And you're going to go to Adnovus. Yeah, let's do it that way. He has 180, 200 some cohorts. He's hired a lot of mercs. He means business. The guy does mean business. Uh, this Wow, that was so fast. How fast was that? Alright, well, let's keep moving forward. Um, you're going to go over onto here. Might as well. I don't think he has many forts down here. No, he doesn't. He has no forts at all, so he can just steamroll right through. Uh, the Senate speak. So, rhetoric and debate have raged for a full year. The Senate of Carthage has reached a final stance on the matter of Italia. We gain war score cost minus, four, minus 5% and minus 4%. Oh, minus 4, sorry, Diplo, um, Diplo rep. Okay, that's fine. Okay, everything here is being occupied. Let's quickly move up over here to Luna, try and block him off. Any troops then will have to come through this way, so we can block him off in a choke point here. Okay, that's been taken, no problem. You're going to move up there, you're going to move down here, you're going to move up to Pisa. Okay, so we might have to... Let's... Yeah, let's go up here, we'll try and catch this geezer. Yeah, let's get him. There we go, we can get him now. There we go, so we've got the goot, we've got the dude. Twice as many men. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. We have... So, oh god, he's filling up with... Whoa, 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 okay. What we need to do here then is... Um, definitely bring in some more men here, because he's got another... He's got another bunch, so I'll force march him. Another 30k in. Hopefully they can get there in time. We should be okay. You never know. Good job I did reinforce. Yeah, good job I reinforced. Pretty damn good. Uh, these mercs are pretty much ready. So what we'll do is we'll take them off that. I'm going to bring you guys out to the front. Just because we can. It's just extra men. Uh, Rome want cloth. Rome is still going strong. Well, still going strong. They've migrated all the way over into Greece now. To where Macedon was. I mean, Macedon no longer exists. The fridge has exploded. Egypt has just taken everything. This is insane. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never, I've very rarely seen something like that happen. We're going to just go back here a little bit. Don't want to go too far forward. Just occupy all we can occupy here. Is there any more forts in the sector? There's no forts. None at all. This guy's just crazy. Okay, so everything here is occupied, which is pretty nice. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to leave you guys back here. You're going to march up to this sector here. You are going to march just there. We're going to go back a bit. So are you. You guys are going to actually go back over here to try and replenish. You're not, because you only need 5,000 extra men. You, on the other hand, are going to go to Segesta there. And you're going to march up to Portus Veneris. Okay, so Lassia wants stone, no problem. They'll march you guys over here. We'll try and deal with this um, enemy fleet. They have a good general in there? They do have a good general. So, But I am going to go and get... We have more more ships than these guys, so it shouldn't really be much of an issue. Patre, they want grain. No problems, fellas. Be my guest and take the grain. 
Go on, let's try and occupy as much as we can here. The longer the war goes on anyway, the better, because the more our aggressive expansion will actually go down, so I'm not really overly bothered. Um, what's this? They embargo, they want grain, no problem, and you want olives. Yeah, you can take all that. That's not a problem at all. Um, you guys are nearly back there, which is cool. Unit reorganizing now. Move you up to the front. You are also going to go up to the front here. Going to here, maybe. Yep, we'll just move you there. We just need to move bit by bit here. You're going to go over to Savo. You're going to go over to Kamna. You're going to move up one, and so are you. I'm going to probably bring up this 29k stack of mercs all the way up there as well. You're going to go down over here, definitely. You're going to replenish maybe a little bit. Actually, I'll just advance you further forward a tad. Are totally, you they want grain? No problem. You can have that. You can also have that. And you can also have the stone. Okay, let's just move these guys to try and blockade his navy in there. Okay, he has a few men here, actually. And we need to be quite careful, so I will bring them all together. I'm not going to go too further forward. On time and devotion, so we get a bit of stability, because our guy was good in office. I'll have some of that. Um, you guys need to go and join, definitely. Um, probably... The rest there is fine. It's just up here that's a little bit worrisome. They do have a lot of men. Can I catch these guys? I can catch them. I think we should be pretty cool. I am going to force march these mercs just in case anyway. Yeah, let's force march them there just in case. You never know when you might need that extra reinforcement. But we're going to catch his 33k stack there. Oh, he does have a lot of men in the vicinity. But they have no morale, so we should be okay. Yeah, we have. We took them off here. And hopefully they're coming. Yeah, they fell for the trap. They tried to reinforce, so they've got caught. Which is even better. Let's uh, march. You, These mercs here are going to go march down there. Try and take the rest of the land on the coast. You're going to march up there. You're going to march up there. This is going to march up there. Alright, come on fellas. Let's do some damage here. Okay, 50, 50 odd thousand against my 50 odd thousand. Take you off the force march because you're going to get there way in time. There we go. We are victorious there. They're all marching in like suicide marchers, so... Just occupy this here. You're going to go up here and you're going to move up here. We'll try and do some damage. Whoa, okay, who? What's happening here? No, you're going to, not going to march that way, actually. You're going to actually stick together. I'm going to march up there, actually. Yeah, you're going to help him fight that 33k stack. Come on. Come on, come on. What's this? The High God. So, our oh, High Priest Tanbit. Shall Bessid claims our future is bleak unless we oppose a peace, sorry, Barhaman, as he's had terrible visions about things to come. He has set aside a cadre of male animals for sacrifice as his custom and is asking us for the funds for a massive ceremony. Fifteen Ooh, I lose a lot of money, but I can't afford to lose that cash. I'm gonna lose two grand and get fifteen political influence. I don't want to lose the loyalty, don't want to take the loyalty hit. Do these trade offers, no problem. Quickly finish these guys off. Okay, he's not doing anything. So he's got 37,000 men back here. I think we should just go back and wipe out his 37k stack here. Come on, come on. The more the more damage we can do, the better I will feel. Could probably do a reinforcing over there, to be honest. Okay, we are going to catch his 35,000 here. I probably should bring these fellas all the way over. Just in case. Let's go and do some... Let's go and help him. Because he's going to reinforce with quite a few men. Hopefully we can get there. We're doing enough damage, morale damage wise anyway, to to annoy him. So it's going to be too late. He's going to join in. And yeah, he's just going to get... He's going to get wiped. I wouldn't say stack wiped, but he's just going to get bashed. But you're going to try and catch these guys. Might as well move up. Okay, so the battle over there was won pretty easily, to be honest. Um, what next? Oh, these guys are fully replenished. So we're going to bring you back up to the front. Let's see what we have here. You're fully replenished, which is pretty good. Well, not fully replenished, but nearly there. These mercs are still alive. This is what, 14k left? No, 29k. We're going to move up here. How about you guys? Here we don't have many left. I'm going to bring you guys back home. You guys are going to... probably. I should probably force march them back, actually. We'll force march you all the way over here. And then we'll kind of reorganise you. And see if we can get your numbers back up. Mm, let's go over here. Let's try and join him quickly. Wow, he has a lot of men. Maybe he has his manpower. He's got a lot of manpower as well, though. 
Okay, so he's joining in now. We have joined in there, which is pretty cool. I'm going to take you guys off Force March here because it gets stopped morale recovery. Let's get you guys. Actually, no. Maybe if I Force March it, would you be able to catch him? No, he wouldn't. But we are going to catch him here like this now. Okay, can I catch you? Yeah, we've caught that guy now. You're done. Uh, what about you? Where are you going? Quicks here. Yeah, they're all going in there. That's fine. We've caught them. Wow. Bloody, bloody fight there. Jesus Christ. Come on. We need a win. There we go. There we go. There we go. They are going to... Oh, God. Yes, they're all throwing themselves like cannon fodder now, which is great. What we need to do, we need to occupy all these lands over here. And then what we will do is we will... Could do with taking this as well. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll... Um, We'll, if, we, if we take the lands over here, we can try and then bottleneck them over on the uh, on the east side of their lands, which would be quite nice. Have they made it back yet? Nearly. Well, I need to stick together here. Don't have any on um, Force March, which is pretty good. I'm going to move you maybe... Can I catch you guys? No, I can't. So I'm going to move you here. Yeah, they have no men left here. Um, you guys Force March you all the way back here as well. We're going to try and replenish you guys. Um, what about you here? You're going to move there, and you're going to you're, you're just going to follow him. We'll just stick together and we'll just follow each other. Come on, come on, come on! The quicker we can get this done, the better, and the happier I will be. Um, you're doing that there, which is pretty good. Come on, come on! The more we can take, the better. Let's go, Egypt. What do you want? They want fish. No probs. Yapodia want wine. No problem. And Boesia wants stone. Also, no problem, fellas. We'll definitely have that. Get you off Force March, so the morale recovery goes up a little bit better. We have 30k here. Come on, they're going to try and attack me probably, so we need to get in there quickly. Okay, what's going on here? Right, he's, he's been seizing that. Okay. You need to go, we'll concede this. You need to go up here. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Wow, loads of so many men. It's insane. We need to get you guys all the way up here now. Okay, what's happening? Okay, we're going in there, and you're also going to go in there. Let's see if we can catch these guys. Yep, yeah, let's get them. Let's get them, let's get them. Um, here, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can catch... Can I catch these fellas? I can't. Which is a shame. But I might be able to if I go down here. Yeah, let's see if we can catch him down there. I'd like to wipe them out. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully they're going to join in and be stupid. Okay, so we have got these guys now. This 50 summit K stack. Going to wipe them out. Hopefully. Okay, that damage has been dealt there. So now let's move over to... Maybe we want to move over to the... Let's just go here now. Keep them next to each other. Don't want to split up too much. Okay, so they're done. Can I catch them there? No, I can't. Um, they are coming back that way, though. So what we need to do is go over here. Try and go on that fort as well. Probably split these guys up. Yeah, we'll split them up. Well, that will do that. We'll split them up into two sections. Um, are you guys replenished yet? No, they're on Force March still, but these guys have nearly replenished, so we're going to bring you guys back up to the front now. March you all the way up there as quickly as we possibly can. Talk about logistical warfare. Okay, so that's been taken. Let's see if we can get these guys. Let's see if I can catch this 46k stack. I really would like to. So many men over here, it's insane. Can I catch them? Okay, we can catch them. I don't know why it says we would lose that fight, but hopefully we're going to win it. We have 71,000 men. I don't think we would lose it. Have I caught these guys? No, I haven't. Let's quickly get these guys over there. Okay, we should win this fight. We should win it. Come on. Come on, there we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I really like to see. So they're down and out for the count. Let's try and link this up over here like this. Try and take that. If we can get this fort, we can block them that way. That'll be pretty cool. They need to stay together. What can I do now? Maybe catch these guys? No. Or what can I do? Catch these fellas? Or like over here? Now let's go over here. Right, get your force march now. We don't need you on there. Let's try and take his capital out now. If we can take his capital, then I've got a feeling that we should be okay. 
Uh, that's been taken. I will march over here now. What do they want? They want fish, no problem. Here we're nearly pretty much full strength again, so we're going to force march you guys way back out at the front here. Okay, come on, come on. The most we can take, the better. Right, there's 37,000 there. We're going to quickly try and take these guys out. Come on. Okay, there we go. Come on. Uh, what's this? A troubling request. So the religious faction have now done Carthage so many favours, are, we are sorely in their debt. Someone becomes Mephiket. What's the Meth What's the Mephiket? Hmm. Who becomes Mephiket? Gnaeus Badonus. Uh, yeah, no. Delay him. Yeah, I'm just going to delay him. Uh, I really can't, mate, because the Mephiket gives me extra discipline. And I don't want to lose that extra discipline, so that is not going to happen. Um, did we win that fight there? Oh, yes. Wow, we're wiping them. We're wiping them out here. Okay, this is getting really, really nice now. Really juicy, really tasty. Everything's going really according to plan. However, we do have a lot of men down here, though. Um, you know what? You guys are going to force march you all the way over here. We'll try and take out our 38k stack. We'll bring these other guys to help them out in a minute. Um, you can probably go here. And you can go up there. Let's split them up quickly. Come on, please, fall. We need to take that fort. If that fort can be taken, then that would be great because it blocks the passage. And I really would like it to fall. What do they want? They want iron, no probs. Okay, now they're going to try and probably march onto me here. So let's move you guys up here. So we are under attack over there, I think. Or we will be. You guys probably should try to take out his... Oh no, we have taken them out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. You guys are going to move up here then. Other side. Alright, we do need to quickly get these fellas over here. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Have a lot of men. Does he have? You've got to be running out of manpower. He's still got quite a lot of manpower. To be fair to the guy. Oh yes, he's, yes, we finally got his capital. Good. So he's attacking me there, which is pretty damn decent. Let's bring you guys together now over here and try and take out his 38k stack. Okay, we're under attack there, but that's fine. We should be able to force them off. Okay, this is quite a tight battle. Let's see if we can get these fellas. We can. Okay, but they don't want to do that there. So let's get these guys. Let's get them here. There we go. We've got them. We've got them. The fight over there was won. The fight over there is won. And battle hardened. So they say that most valuable lessons come from defeat. Like Heracles or Alexander, Bomichael Aeholm appears to be an exception to the rule. He gains confident, which gives us extra martial, plus one, which is fantastic. Okay, so far everything seems to be going pretty much according to plan. Let's um, go up here. You're going to go here, no problem. Okay, we have got the capital, which means we can probably super peace pretty soon. But I want as much land in the plains area here as I can take. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, I'm going to take you guys off force march as well. And so are you because it reduces morale reduction. And I don't want that. Okay, the fort over there has got to fall at some point. Surely to God. Alright, let's split you guys up a little bit. Might as well. Come on, come on, come on. Another 32k stack there. This is a big war to destroy our kind of tribal neighbours to the north. Alright, you're going to go here. Let's try and take everything that we can take. Uh, maybe... You guys are going to go and deal with this geezer. You're going to go up there. You're going to go and deal with that guy. Come on, let's go and get, let's go and get him there. Thank you. It's 32k extra there. Wow. The siege there has finally been won. Which means that we are going to go down here now and try and... Um, what should I do here? I'm probably just going to keep these passages here. Let's go down there. This siege... Well, this occupation is won there. So we'll just go here. Keep occupying everything we can occupy. Another big fight down there. Okay. You guys are going to march up north. Uh, what's this? Uniform regulations. So unusually, Hasdrubal Badona has started to insist on the formal uniform regulations for all those who serve under him. Uh, the Coast Suffolk gained discipline. Thank you. We have a lot of trade offers, so I'm just going to accept them. And I don't have time to look at them because I just want to get the war done. And probably go for... 
keep you guys there. I'm probably going to march you guys down there to the south. What next? What next? What next? Okay, come on. Let's try and occupy as much stuff as we can occupy here. Someone died. Cartalo Manid. He was the governor of Italia. And I'll put probably a Barlid. Let's put the Barlid. You get state religion happiness plus 2% if he's the governor, so might as well. Thank you. Now, there is calls. There are calls for peace, but I don't want to sue for peace just yet. I want to try and take as much as we can possibly take. So now what we need to do is go to the other side. Let's go down here now. Let's try and... Um, Take out his troops here. The 32k stack we can wipe out. Uh, we have a new leader now. Hiram Matanid. Okay. He's of the Mercantile faction. Right, let's go and wipe these fellas out here. Thank you. Another victory. Quickly move you guys up there. Quickly take that back over there. Yeah, this is um, it's the end of the line for the guy now. The end of the line. I probably won't be able to eat him all up, but we'll probably take most of, most of it. Okay, we need a new uh, Sethat. And I'm going to put Melkart, Pilesi, Yagorid, because he's the Civic Faction, gain Civic Faction influence. So, yes, please. We'll definitely have some of that. You're going to go up there. Probably should continue forward here, maybe. We could. I suppose we could at some point move forward. But I don't really want to at this um, point in time. Try and take... I want all the lands in the valley here. If we can just take the mountain, like the easily defensible mountain passes, we'll definitely have all that. That'll be pretty cool. Okay, you're going to move here, no problem. Okay, you're going to move forward there. But 99% now, we should be able to take really a big chunk of this. If we can't, I'll be highly surprised. Um, so I think that's pretty much done. Let's see what we can take here. How much war score would it cost us? It's going to cost us a fair bit, I think. That's already at 69. Um... It's already at 91 there. That is a lot, I've got to say. That's 95. That's 100 and something. Hmm. I would like this. And maybe if I can just probably take a bit of land off here. 106 there. Wow, if war score cost is just insanely high. Shame, I would really have liked that passage. Hmm. If I get rid of that, that's not going to... A little bit. Um, what else can I take off here? What else should I take off? Hmm. That is the question. I'm probably going to have to go without some of this land here. I want that because it controls the passage. 103. Are you kidding me? For God's sake. Why does it all cost so much? What should I take off then here? Um, suppose we could... I get 29 aggressive expansion for this, but it's just the war score. It just limits it. It limits it insanely. Right, let's take that off. Wow, even with that, I mean... It just makes no sense. Here I can, but I'm at negative 6. So I need to wait a little bit. So we can take this. I'm going to have to leave that. So that's fine. What we'll do is we'll just try to win another couple of battles, I think. If we win another battle or two, then we should be fine. Just quickly go up over here. Let's just join up. Get them all there. We'll just wipe them all out. Oh, actually, no. We'll just wait a little bit here till they all join in. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now they're all joining in, so we should be able to wipe them out. Get that there, which is pretty fine. Someone died, by the way. The governor of Magna Gratia died, so we need a new governor. But the best man for the job, citizen happiness, fort defence, and freeman happiness. Why not? You're fantastic. Milk Pilesse. You're you're brilliant. You're a great governor, my friend. Alright, let's quickly wipe out these um these troops here in this last epic fight. There we go, come on. It's a real big battle here. Well, we've got a hundred and some thousand coming in. Okay, I did not notice that. I probably need to bring you guys up as well. So we're going to force march you all the way up here. Hopefully because we have better tech, we should be pretty, we should be fine. Um, probably go over here now. Try and occupy some extra land here. Come on. This is like bloody. This is so bloody. Come on, my allies. Yes, please, please join us. Jesus Christ. This fight here, this battle is just crazy. Come on, we need the extra 30k. What the hell? How many men are in there? How many people? 
Have I got you guys on false march? I have got you guys on false march. Come on. Come on, come on. Get in there. An extra 30k is always going to be useful. Bring your allies in. There we go. Filled up with some more men here. Jesus Christ. How bloody is this? Come on. Extra 3,000 men. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh my God. 171,000 against 125,000 men. No, I didn't want to retreat. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I did the wrong button. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Come on. Come on, come on. This is insane. Can we see for peace yet? Ah, oh, negative three. Negative three. We need to win this fight. Calling in favours. So, Milk Palace Badona has approached Hiram Matanid in private, reminding him of past favours done to us for the military faction. Yeah, why not? The military faction gains a bit of extra influence. We'll happily have that. So you're going to go here quickly, and you're going to go there. Jesus Christ, I don't think we're going to win that fight. Yeah, he's got an extra 60 some thousand men coming in here. Oh, I have a combined value. Why has it gone up again? That makes no sense. Hmm. Okay, I can sue for peace here. I'm going to do it this way. I'll just take what's along the coast. Um, we'll do it that way. I mean, I think we're going to lose that fight. But I don't want to kind of risk it. So let's just um, take all that. We can take, yeah, we'll just take all that. We'll take everything along the coast here. Which saves us and solves the problem. Uh, so now we've taken all that, which is nice. Um, we probably need to... What should we do here? Um, we have a lot of extra land here. Okay, what I think I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to do a cut in the episode here. I know it's a bit shorter than the usual format. This is like about 26 minutes long instead of 30. But there's a lot of stuff I want to do off camera. I don't want to do it on camera to bore you guys. So I need to move some armies back. We need to move some capitals or province capitals and whatnot. We also need to change, uh, build some cities maybe, change some governor policies and uh, move some armies around. So all that stuff is long and boring. I don't want to bore you guys with it. So I will let you know what I've done off camera. In the next episode, what we'll do is we'll probably try and focus on going to war against some other people like Tectosagia maybe. However, they do bring in a lot of people. So I'm going to need a lot of men. Uh, maybe not Tectosagia. I want some. I just want to take what's on the coast here. I really do. Maybe anti-policy or whatever. Are oh, they allied with Cenomania again? Ah, but that's cool. That means we can take more land off Cenomania. So we could do another war pretty quickly with them. I think we'll do that. Or what if I go to war against Katerigia? Well, they have a lot of people. They really have a lot of people. Um, okay, well, I'm. I'll do a cut here and I'll think about all that off camera. Anyway, as usual, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperator Log content, also don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, as usual, thanks for joining me, fellas. And hopefully, I will catch you all in the next one. Have a great day. Later, people.